Tonight, amen, I'm going to be sharing really brief on, on the subject of, of the river of the Holy Spirit. Because I really see and I also believe that there's a river in Whittier. Amen. There's a river, amen, in Victory Outreach, amen, international. And there's a river, amen, in the, in the, in the, in the LA Harbor region. And there's a river in Whittier. God's doing something special, something great within our church. And um, if you will, open up your Bibles to the book of Isaiah 55, verse 1. And I just want everyone to just bow your head with me and just close your eyes. And I'm just going to open up with the word of prayer here tonight. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence, God. So humbled, God. So thankful, Lord, and so grateful, Lord. Lord, I pray here tonight, God, that you would anoint me, God, as your servant, Lord, as your messenger, Lord. And I just pray, God, that you would, God, remove me to the side. And, God, that you would increase here tonight, Lord, God. Let your word go forth with clarity, Lord, and with boldness, Lord, and with the unction of your Holy Spirit, Lord. I'm careful to give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 55, verse 1 and verse 2, and then also I'm going to be reading verse 6. And the word of the Lord reads, it says, Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. Verse 2. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen and listen to me and eat what is good. Seek the Lord while he may be found and call on him while he is near. And I'm just going to bring out... Really briefly, three points that I believe God wants us to just focus on here tonight. And the first point that I would like to bring out is that God was giving his people an invitation. And he was giving an invitation to all those that were thirsty, to all those that were weary, to all those that found themselves in a dry place or in a difficult place. Jesus says in the book of John... Chapter 7, verse 35, he says, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. You see, in that scripture, Jesus was prophesying about the, uh, about the days to come. That when the Holy Spirit was going to come, that it was going to give us fulfillment and joy and peace and ultimately salvation. And Jesus was telling everyone to come. To come those that are thirsty and to drink. And just like I shared earlier, there's been a river within Whittier. And that river is the river of God's Holy Spirit. It's the river of God's presence. You see, throughout scripture, the Bible describes the river in different ways. Or the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit... It's like a fire. Another description of the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit comes in power. And at times, the Holy Spirit can come with an anointing oil. And I know many of us maybe have experienced the anointing oil of God upon our lives. Another form that the Holy Spirit comes is that he comes like water. And, and, and that water fulfills our needs. It strengthens us and encourages us. Another form of the Holy Spirit is that of a dove. And he brings peace. Amen. In the midst of difficulties and storms, the Holy Spirit comes and he gives us peace. Jesus says that whoever believes in him, as the scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. You see, God wants to give his people a fresh touch of his presence here tonight. I don't know about you, amen, but I can sense it. I can feel it, amen. God's Holy Spirit is here tonight, amen. It's available for your deepest need here tonight. And God is saying, come. In the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 20, it says, I am here. I stand at the door and I knock. I am here. Jesus is here tonight. And my second point 
is that the word of God says for us to listen. It says, listen. It says, listen and come to the river. Why do, why, why do you and I spend our money and, and our labor on things that don't satisfy? You know, many times as, as believers, we go ahead and chase after a career, a position, a title, a bank account, different things. And those things are not evil in and of themselves. But the problem is when those things become um, more, more important than Jesus Christ inside of our lives, and then it becomes a problem. Amen? It becomes an idol. And God says, I'm a jealous God. I love you relentlessly. I love you faithfully. And, and for you and I to put no idols before him. You see, these, th the, these things, there's a, there's a scripture in verse 8. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, says the Lord. And I know many times, you know, we can have a, a, a wrong perception about Christianity. You know, we can come in thinking that it's just about getting blessed and prospering. And that stuff is very true. But it's important for us to understand that the Bible also, amen, commands us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And then all these other things shall be added unto us. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 19, it says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. You see, speaking of putting God in the center of our lives. We know, amen, that, you know, recently our pastor, you know, our church, you know, we picked up, amen, pledges. And, and a lot of times, you know, we can have the wrong perception. We could be, hey, you know what, I don't, I, don't, I don't have any finances. But listen, it's a blessing for you and I to be a part of building God's house, amen. It's a, it's a, it's a privilege for you and I to be a part, amen, of sowing seed into the kingdom of God. I don't know about you, amen, but I want to I wanna be a part of building God's kingdom. I want to be a part of um, seeing, amen, the, the, the expansion and the growth, amen, of our church. And, and, and it's important for us, amen, to get involved because God is good. See, there's a, there's a scripture, amen, in the book of Isaiah. It says, see, I am doing a new thing. It springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive it? And God's building a church. He's building leaders, amen. He's building men and women, amen, that are willing, amen, to be a part, amen, of, of building his kingdom. But the question is, will we be a part of it? Are we willing to be a part of building God's kingdom? It says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, says the Lord. Amen. As the heavens are higher than this earth, so are his thoughts higher than your thoughts and my thoughts. And, and there's a scripture, amen, in the book of Revelations where it talks about that he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. And my, my third point is that the Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon the Lord. And tonight, amen, the Lord is here. God is in this place, and he's waiting for you and I to call upon him. You know, Jesus said that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. To come all you who are thirsty to the rivers, and you will be filled. Jesus is here tonight, amen, as the worship team comes. And, you know, I really wanted to be really brief here tonight because our 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 worship, amen, ministry, they're anointed. And I really believe that God's going to use them here tonight, amen, to minister. And, amen, as we all stand here tonight. And, and I was, as I was studying this, this um, passage, the Lord was really ministering to me. And in the book of um, John chapter 7, verse 33, it says... It says, on the last and greatest day, 
of the festival, Jesus stood up and said in a loud voice, he said, come, no, he says, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. You see, in those days, they would have a festival, and it would last about five days. And at the end of the, the festival, they would, they would all prepare to go home. And I know here tonight that, you know, it's, it's, it's our Sunday night service, and some of us are preparing to, to go back into the work field or go back, you know, to your home. And the Lord, amen, wants you to come tonight to the river. And be filled so that you can go ahead and fulfill his, his, his plan and his purpose over your life. There's a river within our church like never before. But the question is, are we sensitive? Are we sensitive to the Holy Spirit? Or, or are we just caught up with self, with the world, with the flesh? Are we just dead to a God wants to do inside of our lives I don't know about you but more than ever I want to change and I want to allow Jesus to lead my life to direct my life I want to fulfill what God has called me to fulfill but it's going to take for you and I to come to the river to come and surrender all and say Jesus I want your best for my life And I really believe that God's been calling many of you here tonight. He's been calling you for weeks now maybe. Some of you, the Holy Spirit has been already speaking to you in certain areas, in certain situations. And the Holy Spirit's been telling you, I want you to grow. I want you to mature. I want you to develop. I need you to let go of some things so you can go to your destiny and your purpose. And that's why Jesus... That's why the Bible says that at the end, Jesus cried out aloud. Listen, Jesus was a preacher. He said, come, all you who are thirsty to the river, come to the water. Come. And Jesus is saying here tonight to come. Come with your burden. Come with your need. Come with your problem. And watch him begin to move in a powerful way inside your life. Some of you here are believing God for healings. Some of you here tonight need a touch from the master. Listen, the master is here tonight. The mender of broken hearts is here tonight. Some of you might need a financial breakthrough. The God of the breakthroughs is here tonight. Your breakthrough is a call away. It's a call away. Some of you might need healing inside relationships. It's difficult, amen. We live in this world where people break our hearts. But God is able to heal and mend our hearts. So you and I are able to love again, accept again, and live like Jesus. Tonight, I'm just going to open up this altar and the worship team's going to minister tonight.